Hello, everybody. Welcome to Follow Up Friday. It always takes me a second because as soon as I go live, I have to press record because this is also going out to my mailing list. So welcome to Follow Up Friday every week. I come on at 10 o'clock. I'm late today because I couldn't go live on Facebook. I don't know what the heck was going on. So I changed browsers. It didn't work on Chrome and it worked on Facebook, it worked on uh, Safari. So go figure, right? So today we're gonna be talking about networking and I have a question for you. Has networking felt like a waste of time for you either online or in person? You know, I, feel, I hear a lot of um, entrepreneurs tell me that they go from event to event to event and they're not seeing the results that they want to justify the time and the effort and the energy that they're putting in. So today I'm gonna to share three steps you can take right away to improve your networking results. Sound good? All right, cool. So uh, please feel free to share this video. If you are getting value from the content, please share it with your colleagues, friends, anyone you know who could uh, benefit from improving their networking. Um, results. And then uh, if you're watching this on the replay, you know, just share this with people. Okay. Just put their tag them down below and share it with them. Okay. And please ask questions, post your comments, your takeaways, your insights, your ahas, and I will come back in later and respond. Okay. This is going uh, all over Facebook on my timeline, my power up your follow up business page and my power up your follow up community and LinkedIn and YouTube, of course, okay? So if you're new to my world, I'm Debbie Hoffman. I am a sales and follow-up expert and I work closely with heart-centered coaches, consultants, network marketers, all sorts of entrepreneurs who are letting potential clients and income slip through the cracks because they don't have an effective sales and follow-up system in place. And I work closely with you to create a step-by-step -step process so you know what to do and what to say at every step of the way and have more of your ideal clients saying yes to working with you. Okay, so let's dive in. The problem I'm seeing is that entrepreneurs are going from event to event, not seeing the results that they want. They're frustrated and they're wondering like, what am I doing wrong? So the first step I'd like you to take is to prepare in advance what you're going to say when people ask what you do. You know, when, when you're at a live event, people will walk up to you, you'll walk up to them, you'll get in conversation, and eventually they'll say, so what do you do? And when you're networking online, you'll be in breakout rooms and everybody has time to share what they do. The problem I see, and you might have experienced this, is that sometimes people go on and on and on, and they like fire hose you down with all this information and I don't know about you, but when that happens, I'm like, oh God, and I back away because I just get disinterested because they never stop talking. They never ask anything about you. So we don't want to be that person. So if you prepare in advance a very short response to that question, then you won't give people too much information. And you want to focus on the problem that people come to you with and the solution that you offer. Okay, that's really important. Just problem solution and then you pause and then see if they have any questions if they don't they're not interested or maybe they just weren't even listening and then you bring the conversation back to them okay so first step prepare in advance two sentences i know it's like torture to it's so hard to to condense everything that you do in your business into two sentences but trust me it will be more powerful and you want people to get curious and ask, so tell me more or how do you do that, okay? And on my Power Up Your Sales program that's starting in October, that is the first thing that we go into is how to create that powerful statement. The second step, and this might not be relevant to all of you, but for most people, they go to a networking event looking to sell and to get clients. And so I'd like to invite you to do is to uh, be open to having a mindset shift around your intention when you go to networking events. So what I mean by that is instead of going looking for clients, you actually go looking for partners, power partners, JV partners, referral partners, people who you can partner up with who will be able to refer people to you. 
Because if you create a few of these really good power partner, JV partner relationships, you'll be referring people, they'll be referring people to you all the time and you'll be referring people to them because they're meeting all day long with their clients who are also your ideal client. So you want to be really clear on who your power partners are. And that's actually another step I wasn't planning on talking about today, but I'm going to give you four steps today. So you want to make a list of all of your power partners, which are people who have similar clients as you, but they're not in competition with you. And be intentional when you go to those events, looking for those people, okay? So if you go to these events, looking for people to support you and refer people to you, and they know you're not trying to sell to them, their guard will come down, their heart will open, and if they really need what you have to offer for themselves, they'll lean in and say, hey, I'm interested in learning about what you do for me, right? So you want their guard to come down because, you know, you've been to networking events, I'm sure, where people try to sell you and you, you just shut down and it's like you're repelled, right? We don't want to do that. So go just educating people, just looking for partners. You'll have a lot more fun. You'll be more relaxed. Show up in service. See how you can support people and help them. So many of my clients who hated networking said, I can go to a networking event looking to help people. I love helping people. So be prepared with things that you can do that you can offer to them to help them. Are there so many more than three? There's many more than three steps, but that's all I'm going to share today. Well, four today. But um, in my Power Up Your uh, Sales program, we go a lot into networking. The next thing you want to do is to prepare a spreadsheet in advance for the attendee's information for you to add all their information there because if you have pieces of paper then you have to transfer them you know into your computer this way you've got an excel spreadsheet or a google spreadsheet whatever you prefer and when everybody shows up you put their names in there and then when you're in breakout rooms you can uh, highlight the people you met with and put information on what they do what they're looking for their contact information so everything is in one place and then here's the key highlight in a different color the people who leaned in and said hey i'm interested in what you have to offer for me we need to talk and then you can highlight in another color the people who you feel would be great partners or maybe they realized you would be a great partner and they said something to you so those are the people you're going to follow up with first all right because they there was some sense of uh, of interest right and in the next video, I'll share about following up after networking events, because that's a whole other conversation. So these are the three things that if you do, you're going to get better results, because when you have the spreadsheet, you're going to be more organized, you're going to be able to follow up with people, and you're going to have more potential client, you know, more clients signing up to work with you and more partners to collaborate with. Okay, so just to review, first step, prepare in advance what you're going to say when people ask what you do. Second step is change your mindset around who you're looking for when you go to these events and look for people who you can partner up with, who can refer people to you and you can refer people to them. And then the third step is to prepare the spreadsheet um, with all the attendees information all in one place. And I create columns, you know, name, you know, notes, uh, program they offer, you know, phone number, email, you know, you can create all these different um, columns based on your needs okay so i'd like to invite you to join me a week from wednesday at my power up your networking event let me use the date september 21st and i bring heart-centered entrepreneurs together from all over the world and there's an hour of networking where you're in breakout rooms pretty much the whole time and we have a speaker and this month, the speaker is moi, and I'm going to be talking about authentic sales and follow-up, uh, create more clients in abundance with ease, okay? So I'm going to be the speaker. I, I usually speak like once a year, maybe. So I'm very excited to be the speaker. And we have a vendor expo, so you can actually get a vendor booth for only $35. And there's two breakout rooms before the event and two breakout rooms after during the vendor expo where people come to you to learn more about what you have to offer. The event is free and you can go to powerupyourfollowup.com forward slash networking, powerupyourfollowup.com forward slash networking. 
and the link will be down below. And if you're seeing this, uh, if you're reading this uh, email or you're getting this as an email, you will have that down below in the email copy, okay? So I look forward to connecting with you next week on Follow Up Friday. I'm gonna be recording it because I'll be traveling to a wedding. So have a fabulous weekend and hope to see you at the networking event. Bye for now.